A lot to have to be very pleased with that performance return wise. That uh, I've been sort of going up and down through matches regarding the return, but today the key was I started off with a lot of intensity and carried through. How confident are you feeling right now? Because you're looking pretty confident from, from our vantage point. Yeah, uh, returning well, moving well, getting in the position to hit the shots and sort of when I have the opportunities, I'm going forward and I'm pretty successful and I'm serving well. So sort of everything's uh, on the right track in that sense. So then confidence comes with that and the work's paying off. You know, so you're immediately confident when you go on court here just because you've never lost a match here. Does it give you an extra five percent or something? Uh, it gives it. It gives me a little bit, but I think it's more so. I I like the way the court plays, and right away from the first hit I had here on Sunday, I can sort of feel it doesn't take too much adjusting to me. And also, the last two years, what's uh, been a big factor is the court we played Davis Cup tied on before this event has been similar to this court. Mm -hmm. How would you assess the court? How would you say it plays? It it plays not too quick. It's probably medium speed, but the thing is the ball bounces quite a bit. And uh, it also slides away. It takes the spins. So kick serves, bounce high. Slice serves out wide. They get quite away from uh, the person. So uh, I don't know not too many other ways to explain it. It's a soft court because it is, uh, it's layered on something. You've never played Tommy, but what do you know about his game? Uh, he's very resilient. Um, he does everything well. Uh, serves well, returns well. He's the kind of guy that blocks most returns and he makes you play a lot of points. But uh, he does a lot of, he can pretty much do anything. He can come to the net comfortably. He can stay back. He moves well and he does everything. Do you remember watching him much when you were coming up in your, your junior days? Yeah, I remember, I remember watching him. Uh, uh, one year in uh, Toronto, specifically when we played at the old site. Your coach probably played, didn't he? Mm -hmm. That's he a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> we talk about it. My, my match is an hour and a half before. Nothing. Nothing else. I'll move tomorrow. I read that you were eighth when he played his first SAP Open. Do you go into a match like this playing someone that much older with a, with a different sense than playing someone your own age? No, it's somebody that uh, I, I probably watched him a lot more than I've seen Sam play, for, the, for example, especially when I was younger. But at the same time, it's somebody that's uh, fighting for the same thing as me. It doesn't matter the age. In, in 13 or years from now, when you're his age, what, what would you like to have accomplished in the game? A lot of good things. One seventeenth of what Roger has. <laughs> one seventeenth of what? Everything. <laughs> everything at least seventeen times, right? <laughs> so the key for you tomorrow is going to be what? Serving well, starting the points well, like I did today, returning well, and sort of trying to get ahead in the points early. Balling, balling pretty well too. Balling pretty well, sort of finding my way to the net, whatever that may mean. If I'm able to dictate from the back, but if he's sort of defending well and mostly with slices, which he tends to do quite well, mm -hmm. sort of try to come in, sort of take time away from him, will be key. In, ta in talking about your movement, Sam said, really all the guys over six foot five on the tour now these days are, are moving well. Do you feel that way? That all the guys that are doing well, yes, you have to. There's no, there's no way around it. You're of course known for. Your serve, but yourself in your game. What what gives you the most pride for you? I think the way I'm able to dictate and control, and it's the notion of no matter how much I talk about how somebody else plays, at the end of the day I gotta focus on myself, and I feel like I can impose my game on others more so than they can on me. So it's more about trying to make my opponent adjust to me rather than myself to him. You know, is, is this the type of tournament that you feel like you should win? Rather than when you're going into Australia and you know the big fours there, and you're thinking, if I play great, maybe I can pull the upsets. But here you got the higher rank, and you come in saying, yeah, if I play my best, I can beat anyone here. Yeah, but I feel like that if I play my best, I can beat anybody anywhere. And it's just a, it's just a sense of really breaking through that sort of hurdle that's uh, stopping me in the Grand Slams and 
top guys and other Germans at Masters and so forth. Is it in trying to find a, the same level of comfort and confidence in those settings that you have in a setting like this? Uh, yes, but it's in the sense more so an experience. Knowing how to do it, knowing how to handle better. Uh, if, let's say, I know that if I don't play well from baseline, if I serve well, most of the time I can push a set that I will. Knowing how to deal better with those first four, five points in the tiebreak against the top guys. The top guys, I won't give you a point that you sort of have constructed sort of take away the points, especially on their serve. It's been knowing how to deal with this better through experience that will help me through. Milos, there's so many incredible shots, strokes on, on the tour now. I don't know. Nadal's forehand on clay and Murray and Djokovic's backhand, Federer forehand. What, what to you is the two or three toughest strokes in the game today? Uh, from other players? From other players, yes. No match returns. Rafa's forehand, for sure, is there. And I'd have to say Federer's combination with his slice and his forehand. The slice on the backhand side. The way he uses that together helps him a lot more than people may mm -hmm. notice. How does he use it? In, does he just a he, change of pace and direction? No change of pace, and he's probably the best guy hitting it. It looks like it's an easy shot to return, but he hits it cross short enough mm -hmm. that it's not a drop shot and you can comfortably come in off of, mm -hmm. but short enough to bring you in yeah. and for you to go, and he keeps it low, so for you to go down that line, your margin of error is low. If you go cross, he's there waiting with the rest of the court open, or even if he wants to go back at you, you're backpedaling. So I think the way he sort of combines. So that, that pattern, does it frustrate you? Uh, I've, I've sort of fared pretty well against it. But uh, it's it's what's gotten Roger through a lot of those grand slams.